everyone. So I just got back from Mac where I picked up a few pieces from the Marilyn Monroe collection. And just to let you know how coveted of a collection this is, it's already sold out online. It's been online for about a week and it just hit stores today, um, October 4th. And I got there, I got to my Mac at around 2.30 and they got their stock in at 10 and pretty much everything was sold out. I was lucky to get the last few uh, pieces of the items that I wanted. I think I got the last um, lipstick in the shade that I have and the second or third to last blush. So really I got very lucky. So I will start off with the products and then at the end tell you my overall thoughts of the collection. That way people want to just look at the products they can um, not be bombarded with a lot of information and people who want to hear me talk can just continue watching. And I also have uh, some notes that I'll be looking at just so I can explain things accurately. So we'll start off with the lipstick that I got which is in the shade Charmed, I'm sure. Now with the packaging, I'm not really a fan of these little sleeves. I love the uh, image that they have. Um, I think it's really great that Mac chose non-traditional or just um, not as iconic pictures of Marilyn. It kind of brings an, a newer, fresher twist to it. I think it's very Mac to do, this, uh, do that. And I also love um, the red Marilyn Monroe signature and the Mac emblem. Um, so, but I'm not a fan of the sleeve. I wish it was all a part of the box itself. Um, so, I will get into the product. And I also love how it has a little red lipstick on it. Red lips. <laughs> and just to let you know, the reason why I don't like how this is all separate is because I like to keep the packaging because it's so nice and pretty. I know that's weird for some people, but it's so nice. But because it's a lot extra packaging, I just find it's a, a bigger hassle. So that's kind of frustrating, but whatever. Uh, moving on to the product itself, they have still have the same um, image. And it's a lot glossier as you can tell, than the traditional MAC uh, lipstick. And so Charmed, I'm sure, is what I have, and it's a matte. It's a dark true red, as the website uh, describes it. And when I was talking to the MAC makeup artist, here's, here is it, Ugh, here it is. <laughs> and the MAC makeup artist uh, described it as a true brick red, and it definitely has pinky bluish undertones to it and uh, when I swatched on my hand I was really surprised because I didn't believe it was a matte because it went on so creamy uh, it's not drying at all and I can definitely tell the pinky undertones particularly when I wiped it away so I'm assuming if I just have a little um, light stain of this on my lips it'll probably uh, come up a little bit pinkier than red but I think I'm gonna really love this color and this was $16.50, and like I said, I bought the last one at around $2.30, so. The next product I have is um, also same packaging. It's the blush in The Perfect Cheek. Now, this is... Uh, from what I heard online is a repromote and it came out a few years ago and I don't think uh, the lipstick is a repromote though but the blush definitely is um, but as you can tell same kind of packaging you can see a little bit of the product peeking out uh, but this is a matte neutral pink beige and it's not really showing, it's showing up a lot lighter than it really is on my camera. But like I said, this is a repromote and it's um, $22. And yeah, so it's just like, that's the color there. And pretty much my 
we'll get on now to my overall opinion. And I think that this collection, um, since I know a lot of um, things are coming out, particularly in the last few years, I noticed to kind of um, take advantage of this resurge of interest in Marilyn Monroe as a fashion icon. Um, I knew I kind of worried that this collection would be probably a little bit rushed or not done quite right because they wanted to, you know, jump jump on this particular window of uh, interest or resurge interest in her. Um, so I was kind of torn, like thinking, will this be a really good collection or will it be not as good? And I was hoping that Mac would really knock it out of the ballpark and do an amazing job. And I think they could have done better but they didn't do as bad as I thought they might. So I'm pretty happy with the collection. Um, I wanted to get Forever Maryland, which was the uh, highlighting or the beauty powder, but it was sold out. I think they told, the makeup artist at MAC told me they sold out in like the first hour of Forever Maryland. It was just such a sought after item. Um, but yeah, so overall, I really like the product really like the products that I bought um, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else oh yeah I know some people were uh, worried that these might be stickers but they're not um, they're just they're not um, just sticker stickers I think there's some sort of I don't know what it is but it is something that's kind of stamped onto it and as you can tell mine is not stamped evenly it's kind of crooked and that's probably going to really frustrate me, um, but overall I love it. It's just that little thing's kind of annoying and I think the packaging is really nice and sleek and it is worth the few extra dollars that you pay for it. So like I said, overall I'm really happy with the collection and if you purchased or wanted to purchase uh, anything from the Maryland collection or just your general thoughts of the collection, let me know down below. And thanks for watching. Okay, bye.